We are going to pray. Let me show you a scripture God showed me. Mighty God. Second Corinthians, please. Chapter 9 and verse 8. And God, HICC, and God has an ability to make all grace. Listen carefully. Please listen to me. I want you to be sensitive. I'm seeing a wind. Just move. I'm going to pray for you shortly. Please, guys, let's the instrumentalists you can just walk together. Listen to me. Every dimension in the spirit, please look up. There is a grace allocated for that possibility. There is a grace that produces speed. Please listen. There is a grace that produces restoration. There is a grace that produces favor. You are not favored because you are in need. No, there is a grace upon you. Please listen to me. I know what I'm saying. There is a grace that compels a generation to hear your voice just because you have what to say does not mean people will listen to you there is a there is a hear ye him anointing that when it's upon you you will open the two lift gates of territories not cities not churches because of the ointment so do the virgins love thee he was not talking about women virgin dimensions that you are introduced into spaces you have never been because of something that is upon your head. Thou anointest my cup, my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Are we together now? You must covet. Listen, you cannot walk in the grace of yesterday and have today's results. No, no, no. Yesterday's grace was sufficient for yesterday's issues remember the bible is talking about us being sufficient capable rising up to the task and the bible says the mechanism by which this is achieved is that god is able to coordinate the various graces that the prophetic word upon you require if god says this is your year of expansion and vision there are certain graces that must be present otherwise december 31st will come and that word will not be there and the bible says in such a conference god is able to coordinate all grace some of you will need speed some of you will need restoration some of you will need prosperity you will need favor the bible says god is able able to make all grace abound towards you that ye, having all sufficiency, may abound to all good works. Listen to me. Results in this kingdom are not commanded by intentions alone. Results in this kingdom are not even commanded by the proposition, linguistic propositions. It takes the energizing of the spirit to prove the reality of the Christ to all and sundry here and now. By this, you bring glory to the Christ. Then you make Galatians 1.24 become a reality. And they glorified God in me. And they glorified God. My life has become an effulgence, you will say, of signs and wonders. Next time you read the Bible, you are reading yourself. It's no longer a book that was printed by Zondervan or White Taker House. It has become your experience. And the hand of the Lord came upon um, Elijah and he ran. So speed is possible. Lord, where is that grace? And God is able to make all grace, including that grace, to rest upon you. That by March, you have already done what you plan to do 2025. It's over already. Please listen, I'm not, I'm not just motivating you. This is spirit communication. God is able. You're a businessman. You will be tired of just using the strength of the flesh to draw people. The same grace that brought the animals into the ark of Noah. There is a grace that draws men into the ark. Noah just stood at the ark. And a, a strange grace drew the animals two by two, seven by seven, till they came into the ark. 
when that grace rests upon your business you will marvel and wonder at the things that men do for you listen listen loyalty is more than just a leadership principle loyalty is a grace there is a grace that comes upon you the bible says certain men came to david in the cave of adulam and they vowed that they will make him king they came and made a weak leader a leader who was in hiding and yet his weakness was not a factor they said we will save you we will lift you and you will rule over us the possibilities that we desire are governed by graces please listen to me it is in the office of the holy spirit to bring prophecy to pass the holy spirit is the spirit of god that proceeds forth when his word comes it coordinates all the human machineries to see to it that the speakings of god comes to pass it does not just happen by luck i'm explaining this to you so that when your life becomes an effulgence of signs and wonders you will give god glory but not be surprised because it can happen again and again that means when you leave this service and you see 10 missed calls and someone is saying where are you what i want to give you i cannot i i need you to be there and you say what is it and then he reminds you that you just carried something you did not come to church with a, a an engracing of the spirit listen to me all things are possible but not under every condition there is a condition that manipulates favor above you there is a condition that will compel a generation to hear you there is a condition that will compel wealth and abundance will make psalm 112 a reality in your life blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands the bible declares that his seed shall be mighty upon earth then it says the generation of the upright shall be blessed he says wealth and riches shall be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever there is a grace that is responsible for that there is a grace that opens your eyes to scripture ephesians chapter 3 and verse 8 and 9 the grace that makes all men see there is a grace that opens the eyes of men to see Habakkuk said, I will stand upon my watch and set myself upon the tower that I will see what he will say to me. So as we pray, I know that our time is spent, but we're going to have a minute or two to pray. And in that prayer, you are going to cry out for the various graces that control possibilities that are not yet at work in your life. Listen to me. When it was time... The Bible says that God mandated Moses to anoint Aaron. Listen, and it says it in a very interesting way. It says that Aaron was full of the spirit of God. And yet, he told Moses to anoint Aaron. And to take some of his honor and give Aaron. Honor is transferable. When the grace for honor is upon you, people will veto your limitations. As though it does not exist. Are we together? for your ministry i believe there are men and women of god around and watching for your business for your life listen father all the graces that must be coordinated synergized galvanized around my life in this season to make my life an effulgence a revelation of prophecy a reflection of the possibilities that reside in the christ i obtain by faith lift your voice and pray someone is praying here you are about to encounter a grace that will shift you into realms untold, dimensions beyond your imagination. Please pray. I will never be say i've touched your grace my life must change i will never be the same i've touched your grace my life must change i will never be the same i've touched your grace my life must change my life must change it's my prophecy my life must change Ah, my life must change.